childish. And call it your birthday suit. And call it your birthday suit. Yep. I love that. It's so original. It's so original. But yeah. Um I'm about to cut these curly pieces out of my hair. They look so bad. Cause they use, it's synthetic hair. It's so like literally day two, they were out. But I'm gonna cut them out and I'm gonna buy, um, I'm gonna buy a pack of bundles. And just- I have one. You have one? Yeah. Is it the curly? Like a deep wave uh, bundle? Oh, I'll take it from you, you then. You can have it. I'll take it from um, you. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just crochet them in. Girl, yeah, the synthetic definitely doesn't last. No. But even the human, it's maintenance. It's maintenance. But I mean, they didn't charge me much, so that helped. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm trying to let you go. I'm trying to go get ready. Okay. I'm like, it's not a change. I know. It's going to be really sad. I know. Um, I know that she interviewed two people yesterday. And I only saw the first one because I had to leave for the second one. So right now, my move out date is at least I have like two more months. But it's looking like July. I'm sad, but it's time. Are you going to Miami? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I found a place in Miami. I'm so excited for you guys. I know. We're like... I, I'm like sad about it, like because Nikki and I have like lived together for so long, like, and I consider her my soulmate. I know. But, you know, we just have to grow and fly our wings <laughs> somewhere else. But at least I'm moving in with another roommate. Okay. So, I won't be as lonely. Yeah, you won't be like solitude. Yeah, even though I, I love solitude and I would have preferred. To move in by myself but um financially it just made more sense yeah to get a roommate so yeah i'm excited about i'm not really good with change Neither am I. I don't like it's a sad in us it is we like, i don't really we, we like our normal routine we like adventures but we don't like drastic change it takes a while like you have to i have to like huff and puff <laughs> before I'm just like okay we're gonna accept this change and we're just gonna take it on we're gonna vibe with it, we're gonna yeah vibe but I'm just like oh. but then like the great thing about this move is the fact that we don't have to drive to Miami every day like I'm going to Miami ten, this like in a few hours it's the fact that I don't have to go to Miami every day but I'm gonna miss my friend New, new journeys. New, it's a new series of the. It's a new season of the series. That's true. A new season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This now. is like, this is like the Miami. The Miami, the, the Miami, Miami series. series. <laughs> like this is gonna be the um, what do they call it? Like when they have the spinoff. Yes. There you go. The Miami spinoff. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm excited. How's relationship? It's good. Yeah. I met his mom yesterday. Oh. Mom. So I'm calling this vlog a chaotic day in my life because it is a nothing but chaos. And you know what? That's real because that's really my life. Some days it is aesthetically pleasing. Some days I'm getting up and I'm doing a full morning routine and I'm giving you the ins and the outs and it looks all seamless and perfect. And some days it's chaotic. Some days I'm eating Haitian food for breakfast and that's just how my life is set up and that's just the real, okay? Some days it's perfect. Some days it's straight chaos. Plate of Haitian food for breakfast. We have macaroni. We have rice. We have Grio and a little bit of Pickles for breakfast with a cup of coffee. Like it doesn't get any chaotic than this, but I literally have to leave this house in like 15 minutes for my first client of the day. And I don't have anything in the fridge because I literally just got back home yesterday.
All right. <laughs> I'm in the car. I'm low-key rushing. Hikey. Not low-key. I'm hikey rushing because I have to make it to my client on time. Okay. Okay. Don't fall camera. So I have a client this morning at 1030. It's currently 1019 and I have to get across town in less than 10 minutes. Fun. I knew I had this client today, but it wasn't until this morning that I realized that this client also booked a 24 hour turnaround. And that makes sense because when we got on a call earlier this week, she did say that it's gonna be a family shoot with her husband and her daughter. And I guess she wants the pictures by tomorrow, which is Mother's Day. So that makes sense. The problem is I have to drive to Miami to be on a boat by three o'clock. And that's also work slash fun related because it is my client's Monroe's birthday and she's having a boat yacht day and I have to be on there by three o'clock. <laughs> so I have to go shoot this client. It will probably take about an hour, maybe an hour and a half tops. And then I am going to my aunt's house because my aunt's house is kind of in the middle. I live west and everything I need to do today is more on the east side. So I'm gonna go to my aunt's house right after the shoot, upload the photos, send it to her so she can pick her favorite ones and then get ready, take a shower, get ready at my aunt's house, and then get on my way to Miami. And then when I get to Miami, <laughs> when I get on the boat, I'm hoping she'll have her selections picked out already, and then I can edit them on the boat and send to her. Shout out to Hotspot. I'm hoping, that's the game plan. I look a mess. I look a mess. My feet ashy. My hands are ashy. It's giving ashy. But we got to do what we got to do. Because the money's not going to make itself. You know? Hey, estimation point. It's okay. I completely understand. Period. There's no late fee. get there safely my client just texted me telling me that she's running 15 minutes behind and she won't get there until 10 45 and she's like is there a late fee just add it to the final amount girl no there is no late fee okay i don't know maybe it's just me but in my business i'm big on giving people grace because there will be a time and there has been times where i need some grace okay if anything her being late is helping me out because there's no way, there's no way in hell I was gonna make it there exactly on time, so. it's disgusting I didn't even have time to put on lotion and I was gonna put on my sneakers but I didn't even have time for that I just got back from New York yesterday so I didn't even unpack like it's a mess it's chaotic but you know what life is chaotic sometimes and that's okay that's okay my client is already here this is my camera bag I just got it on Amazon about a week ago and so far I'm loving it because Literally all of my stuff fits in here. I didn't even unpack it from New York. Let's see, take out my camera. I think I want to shoot with my 50 millimeter lens today. So I'm gonna switch from my 35. Actually, I'm gonna keep the 35, I'm lying. I'm gonna shoot with my 35. What else? I'm gonna put the hood on there and then I have to put an SD card in here, hold on. I have the hardest time putting on this hood. It's so annoying. Is it gonna lock in today? Ooh, it works. Okay, perfect. Is my lens clean? It looks clean. Okay, full charge. Full charge, just how we like it. 
I'm gonna clean it a little bit more just in case there's a little bit of dust and I don't like that I need my lens to be sharp there's a little bit of dust I use this little lens cleaner it's the best ever even if you don't have a camera you can use it for your phone it comes with like a little feather brush on one end and then one of these on the other end I'll link it below for you guys if you're interested in getting it um I need to add an SD card and then I'm ready I think they're only doing one look if I'm not mistaken so it should be pretty easy um, I cannot find my SD card book like this is so chaotic I couldn't find my SD card book but I have a little thing with backup SD cards but they're smaller they're like 32 gigs 64 gigs but my SD card books have a lot of 128 gig memory cards so I'm using a 32 gig right now it'll do it's for an hour shoot that's good enough hopefully I pray it is <laughs> What else do I need? Do I have pockets? I'm going to put, just so I don't have to come back to my car, I'm going to put a backup battery in my pocket. And then that's it. Okay. I'm on the island, and if you know, you know. But I just saw two men passing by with hella shopping bags from, like, Chanel, Tory Burch. And I just know they're shopping for Mother's Day. That's so cute. I'm so glad that Haitian Mother's Day is not until the end of the month, so I have some time to procrastinate on buying a gift. All right, camera's all set up. I'll link all of my camera information down below for you guys if you're interested. But yeah, camera all set up. I'm about to shoot this. I'm probably, I'm not gonna do a behind the scenes. I already know, because it'll be too much for me to do. So I'll see you guys when I get back in the car. All right. It's a wrap. I'm sweating like crazy, but that's a wrap. It's 11.54. We just ended. Now I'm about to go shower, get ready, upload these photos. While they're uploading, I'm gonna shower and get ready. Send them to her, have her send her selections. Ooh. Oh my God, I'm sweating like crazy. It is so freaking hot. My dashboard, the chaos. The temperature on my dashboard is saying that it is 94 degrees outside, which is actually nuts. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. The house is so cute. Let me show y'all. Y'all can't really see. Can't really see. Y'all can't really see it. You can't really see it. You can't really see it because the grass wall, but it's so cute. Wow, how pretty. Yeah, I just saw you call. Oh, okay. It's always something. Always something. I was ready and running on time, and then I remembered she wanted drone footage. And I forgot the drone at home because I didn't unpack my bags. So now I have to drive home, which is what I was trying to avoid because my house is really far out west. And I was trying to avoid going back to my house because I have to drive back east again. But now I have to drive to my house to go get the drone. There is a chance that I'll be running behind. Love that for me. Funny thing is, I made it 20 minutes late, and 
I was the first one here. <laughs> I was in traffic, speeding, going crazy just to be the first one here, but that's okay because it made me a little bit more relaxed. So now I can enjoy myself, work, and enjoy myself. <laughs> I'm done. Photos delivered. Now, time to work some more. Magnificent. So it is 7.56, the party is over, it was fun. I only had two glasses of champagne because the day is not even close to being over for me. So I know I needed to be as clear-minded as possible. <laughs> now I'm about to drive an hour and a half back home. My phone is dead. Oh my God, I'm gonna get home at 9.12. Target stop because I am out of toiletry. Let me show you guys what I got. I love CeraVe products, so I got this body cream. It's a moisturizing cream, but I use it all over my body. Got deodorant because I ran out of deodorant. I got the Native. This is my first time trying the Native spray. I usually use the Native coconut and vanilla, just like the roll regular deodorant. I noticed that they have the spray version now, so I had to get it because I love spray on deodorant. I bought this exfoliating towel. It's the one that I use all the time, and I've had mine for a while, so it was just time to change it. I also purchased this rose quartz sculpting stone, also known as a gua sha. I purchased this before, but I dropped it and it broke. And then instead of replacing it, I got a jade roller. But I noticed that I prefer the gua sha a lot more because it gives me a lot more control. So I just went and purchased another one. I needed some flushable wipes, so I just got the generic Target brand flushable wipes. The last few things that I got are really important because I was on a yacht today and I was looking at my heels, like the heel of my feet, and I was like, this is not ladylike. This is not of a woman. So I have really dry callus on my feet. And I, I tried my hardest to stay on top of it by using a pumice stone, a callus remover, and just, you know, foot creams and all that jazz. If I'm not consistent with doing that, my feet would just get really dry and flaky and just really ugly so because i was away for 10 days i was staying on top of my foot care so today i was looking at my feet and i was like yo we need to do something about this so <laughs> i went ahead and bought some foot masks the foot masks that i love is actually by this brand called o'keefe's but didn't have it in store today so i decided to go with this avino so i will let you guys know maybe another video i'll try them tomorrow yeah so i'll try them out and let you guys know how i feel about it and I also bought the O'Keefe 
healthy feet cream i've used it before love it they have a new packaging it used to be in a round like container now they have it in this like tube like container i hope it's still the same formula and it works the same way so yeah got that that's about it that's what i got all right now i'm about to go shower and get myself ready for bed but i actually have a task to complete for one of my clients so i'm not gonna go to sleep anytime soon the task is probably gonna take about two hours so yeah once i shower get in bed complete my task and then go to sleep Alexa, turn off bedroom light. Okay.